Hi everyone. I hope everyone's being safe and staying at home and quarantine's going well for you. Um, moving forward, I'm going to try to post a video each week uh, explaining what exactly I want you guys to do at home for home occupational therapy services. And then I'll kind of give you as the parents some tips on what to do and what to look for during these activities. And then if you have any questions or concerns, you can always schedule a consult with me um, via phone or Zoom or FaceTime um, on my office hours, which is on my website too, okay? Um, so for this week, what we're going to work on is some handwriting for our uppercase and lowercase letters. So on the website, I've also put up this handout so you can print it out if you have a printer at home. If not, it's very easy to make. I made one myself and then I printed it out. Um, and this activity can be changed and graded based on the student's preference and how well they, they do at it. So I'm gonna flip my camera around. Oh, and I can't flip my camera around. <laughs> so I'm gonna move my phone camera to the picture. So here's how it looks and what it looks like. This, like I said, is an attachment on my website as well. But what it is, is it just works on writing uppercase and lowercase letters. Um, so what I want the student to do is to write the letters A through Z and copy them. And then I want them to do the lowercase letters as well, lowercase A through lowercase Z. Um, now, if your child is really good at writing the letters, awesome. One way to challenge them is by asking them to do it by memory instead of by copying it. If your child is struggling with these, you can have them trace it as needed. But ideally, I'd like them to be writing all the letters, capital and lowercase, for this time and this practice. Um, one thing I want to mention too, when you're doing this activity, um, really think about where the child is sitting and how they're writing. So in general, we want um, any student, even an adult, to sit at what's called a 90-90-90, where they have a back support, they have their knees bent and they have their ankles bent, so they're in a good optimal position. Sometimes if you're at home, you might be sitting at the table and they might not be able to touch the ground, which will make them a little bit more restless. So that's always a good thing to keep in mind when you are working on something, especially in their eye ready or schoolwork. Posture is really important. Um, sometimes what I'll do with my parents, if I have a, a kiddo that's at a really tall table and, a, and their feet don't touch the ground, is I'll get like a bin or a big box and put underneath their feet. And sometimes that stability, just like us when we sit at like a bar stool, um, it's really uncomfortable. And so if we can give them more support, that's gonna help them be able to stay on task more often. Um, yeah, and then I also have a Go Noodle Movement game video on there as well. I'd like you guys to complete that and have the children watch the video and then try to do what the person's doing to help with movement patterns. If you guys do have any questions or concerns, you can always feel free to call or leave me um, an email. <laughs> and I have my email and my, my um, school phone on my office hours on my website. Uh, I hope everyone stays safe and healthy, and I will see you guys next week. Thank you.